There is a story today that is an exclusive and shows you the kind of investigation work that we are, are now committing to. United States Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn, who was celebrated as a hero for his actions on January 6th and his public statement since, earlier this year, President Joe Biden awarded him the Presidential Citizens Medal to great fanfare. But the story that first made headlines is now a obviously disprovable lie. Dunn alleged that he was called the N-word numerous times during the riot at the Capitol on January 6th. Almost the entirety of the media repeated his claim without any question. It features predominantly in his new memoir, his new book, Standing My Ground, a Capitol Police officer's fight for accountability and good trouble after January 6th. Seemingly no other word in the English language when spoken by someone other than a black comedian or a rapper evokes more viscerally negative responses. So so taboo is the use of the N-word that when anyone such as quotes the word in a news story or an interview, it has to be redacted. In Standing My Ground, Dunn recounts how he and another black officer was approached by BuzzFeed reporter Emmanuel Felton to tell their stories about that harrowing day in which they were forced to endure racist abuse, including repeatedly being called the N-word as they just tried to do their job of protecting the Capitol. I sat down with one of my buddies, another black guy, and tears just started streaming down my face, he said. I said, what the F, man? Is this even America? What the F just happened? I'm so sick and tired of this. Soon he was screaming so that everyone in the rotunda, including his white colleagues, could hear what he had just gone through. He sat there in the rotunda at the end of the day. These are racist ass terrorists, he yelled out in the rotunda. I got called the N-word 15 times today. Trump did this. And all these effing people in our department that voted for him, how can you support him now? He said, I sat there in the rotunda and I cried for about 15 minutes. I just let it out. Well, he went under, the, uh, under oath to tell this wonderful story. But Blaze Media has um, been acquired access to two FBI 302 interview forms. They're marked unclassified. However, they're under the court's protective order preventing them from being made public. But in Dunn's first statement before a congressional subcommittee on July 27th, he said... I'm a law enforcement officer, and I keep politics out of my job. But in this circumstance, I responded, well, I voted for Joe Biden. Does, not, does my vote not count? Am I nobody? That prompted, he said, a torrent of racial epithets. A woman in a pink MAGA shirt yelled, you hear that, guys? This N-word voted for Joe Biden. And then the crowd of perhaps 20 people joined in, scru- screaming, boo, effing N-word. No one had ever, ever called me the N-word while wearing the uniform of a Capitol Police officer. In the days following the attempted insurrection, other black officers shared with me their own stories of racial abuse on January 6th. One officer told me he had never in his entire 40 years of life been called the N-word to his face, but that streak ended on January 6th. On page 82 of the pre-publication copy of Dunn's book acquired by Blaze Media, He gives a similar account of the racist chant from the lady in the pink MAGA shirt. But on page 157, Dunn writes the chant was led by a woman in a pink MAGA hat. Despite that and other minor discrepancies in Dunn's telling, the biggest problem with the story is that this is the most video recorded event in history. Not a single piece of evidence, video or audio, has even emerged to confirm that such a racially charged incident ever took place. In the two and a half years since the events, with tens of thousands of hours of audio uh, taken and analyzed from open source cell phone video and DC Metro Police body worn cameras, nobody has has produced recorded evidence to corroborate Dunn's story. Well, what about the Capitol Rotunda closed circuit TV video? Well, Blaze Media has analyzed this. It does not include any audio 
But the video also appears to lack any visual evidence confirming the event as Dunn described it at the time and the location he claimed it occurred. In fact, the entirety of the extensive hours of videos that Blaze Media has examined reveal no such event. This includes the end of Dunn's day when he's supposed to have to broken down crying in the Capitol, shouting, why? Instead, he's clearly visible, visible, talking to numerous fellow officers, but not only without tears, but sometimes smiling and sharing a cell phone video. Also, Blaze Media did not find a single shirt fitting that description worn by anyone inside the building. Analysts for Blaze Media have spent hours poring over the video recordings looking for any individual, male or female, wearing a pink MAGA shirt inside the Capitol building. We can report conclusively, based on the many camera sources available, that a woman in a pink MAGA t-shirt is never seen near or in Dunn's vicinity. In fact, Blaze Media did not find a single shirt fitting that description worn by anyone inside the building. The Sedition Hunters, a self-described global community of open-source intelligence investigators working together to assist the U.S. FBI and Washington, D.C. Capitol Police to find those who committed crimes on January 6th at the Capitol. They had unprecedented access to open-source since January 6th video footage. This group of left-leaning activist researchers has also failed to produce evidence of the N-word being used against Dunn or any other black police officers of that day. Hmm. Hmm. What does that mean, I wonder? Tonight at 9 o'clock, I know there's so much going on, but there's a lot we're missing. You never let a good crisis go to waste. There's a lot of things that have come out in the last week, week and a half that mm, you may not have seen because everyone was too busy talking about something else. I told you that we were watching those other hands. And watch we have, and we're going to expose tonight. What else has, has been happening since we were all distracted with Israel? What else has come out? Wait until you hear the update on our pharmaceutical companies, our government, and COVID. A lot of stuff just happened to come out. Huh. At a time when nobody would pay any attention. Huh. We're paying attention. Tonight, 9 p.m. on Blaze TV. Get your subscription now at blazetv.com slash Glenn. Use the promo code Glenn36 and save. Tonight, 9 p.m., Blaze TV.